Here's some crucial information that can be used towards starting your own car hauling business. One of the first steps you must take is to receive legal authority from the U.S. government so that you can provide transportation services. This process begins by securing a DOT number and an MC number. A DOT number will identify your carrier to the government as you operate in the interstate commerce sector. Meanwhile, having an MC number will give you authority to transport regulated commodities on a for hire basis. But these are not the only pieces of government registration that you will need to start hauling cars for profit. You must also register for UCR, Unified Carrier Registration. This is a state program for transportation companies that the government mandates at the federal level. Through UCR, federal agencies can recognize your hauling company. Otherwise, without UCR, your business can get fined into non-existence when you are moving cars. Next, your car hauling business will need to file for an IRP and IFTA registration through the FMCSA, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. This is so that your business can receive a fuel license and apportioned license plates. IRP stands for International Registration Plan. Following the plan allows commercial motor carriers to operate on U.S. highways by paying specific fees. Through IRP registration, the government will send out portion plates that you can affix to your truck. IFTA refers to International Fuel Tax Agreement. The agreement enforces many commercial carriers to pay taxes each quarter. The amount you pay in taxes is based on where you buy fuel for your truck and where your fuel is consumed. Through IFTA registration, you can receive an official fuel license. One of the most important things you can do to start hauling cars is gain experience. Most new car hauling business owners already have years of experience hauling cars for a company. Your experience will prove to the government that you have a clean driving record when you're registering your company. This will make it easier for you to purchase a trailer for hauling cars. Speaking of trailers, try to put a lot of thought into which trailer you buy. There are quite a few unique car trailers to choose from. Some car haulers prefer to start off with an enclosed trailer, which is often at a cheap price. The auto hauler trailer is more expensive, but may give you more value over time. Consider buying a used auto hauler trailer because new trailers can cost a lot. Starting a car hauling company is not as expensive as many people assume, but that does not mean it is cheap. There are quite a few upfront costs to consider, such as price of used or new equipment. If you do not already have a CDL, commercial driver's license, you will have to spend about $100 to secure one. Insurance costs are another expense to keep in mind. Car hauling insurance costs vary significantly based on many different factors. Do you want to learn more information about how to start a car hauling business? If so, please click on the link below to access fmcsaregistration.com's car hauling resources page. We are the number one third party organization in the United States when it comes to helping car hauling companies register with the FMCSA and DOT. Our experts can take care of filling out and filing all government documents on your behalf. This way, you can begin hauling cars for your new business in no time. If you have any questions about car hauling registration, do not hesitate to give us a call at 866-477-0707. Our registration team cannot wait to help you set up your successful car hauling business.